Hello everybody, I'm DellaPH1 from DevParadise.tk and this is our second developer quick tip. Today we're going to be talking about JavaScript. So if you don't know what JavaScript is, here's a quick rundown. It's a scripting language, hence the name JavaScript, but it has nothing to do with Java. I know it's confusing. But it's used mainly in web development, but can be used to make games both on and off the web. So without further ado, let's get to the web. You need to use a JSGL, otherwise known as a JavaScript graphics library. There are several out there, but I wanted to see which one works the best for me. This may not be the best for you, but I find this to be the easiest to use and the one that's the most versatile. I found one that's called OCanvas. OCanvas is filled with great features. It supports a range of things to aid in the creation of animations and different images such as sprites or simple polygons and it has support for a lot of different event handlers such as the keyboard and the mouse, drag and drop, and one that I find to be the coolest. This is the coolest is for mobile devices for your touch screen displays and I said touch screen yes it's the touch screen oh my god this is probably one of the coolest things and it's one of the most significant things that separates it from other libraries. That means you can have your mobile sites be interactive again, um, and you can have touchscreen monitors. This means that whoever has that has the capability to interact with your site differently from others. Now this is something I like. I don't necessarily have anything to use this with yet. Huh? Yeah. Yet, but um, I'm planning on using it at some point. So I had a nice email conversation with the creator of O Canvas, Johannes Cogdahl. Sorry if I butchered that name though. I'm really sorry. Um, I had some questions about O Canvas and the documentation, and he was nice enough to be able to answer. And man, this guy, this guy is really nice. He's good at explaining things, and he explains it as if he's trying to explain it to someone who has no idea what they're doing. So I find that he's one of those people that would make a great teacher. Now, I'm not saying you should go annoy him with questions. Figure it out on your own. This is one of those things I'm like, wait a minute. What? What? But I, uh, I just wanted to ask a question. I had a great email conversation. He's a really nice guy overall. And he didn't mind answering my questions. May or may not have minded <laughs> answering my questions. I, truth be told, I was a little on the annoying side uh, with question answering and asking. So. I just kind of thought, oh, hey, he's answering my questions. Why don't I ask him another? That's kind of mean. But nonetheless, he has a quality product, and I definitely think it's worth checking out. Link in the description or caption below, depending on where you are, either YouTube or devparadise.tk. But when you're there, donate to his library via Flatter, uh, F-L-A-T-T-R. should be somewhere on the screen. And... I definitely recommend using it in your sites. If you want to use other libraries, fine, but this is that one where I'm like, hey, I don't need other libraries to do what I want to do. I can just use this one. Oh, canvas, the best of the best. It's the best. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Tumblr, uh, devparadise.tk. Subscribe, like, and favorite. Watch my videos if you're on YouTube. If you're on Tumblr, then go to YouTube and do that. If you're on YouTube, go to my Tumblr blog and follow me. I post frequently. Uh, text posts, reblog, everything that has to do with C++ and programming. And basically anything that's funny relating to programming. Anything related to programming at all. I just reblog that. And I like that. So go check me out. It's called uh, devparadise.tk. That's once again. should be on the screen right now. This is a note to you in the future. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Della PH1, and I bid you farewell.